What's up guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about the three keys to finding the perfect domain name. So if you're getting ready to start a blog or a website, you've probably stressed over finding the perfect domain name. I'm gonna share with you three tips that I recommend on my website, learnhowblogging.com, to help you find a domain name that is perfect for you and your website. When you are ready to start your website, head on over to learnhowblogging.com. I've got a link right below this video that'll show you exactly how to start your blog or website. But let's talk about the three simple keys to finding the perfect domain name. The first key is make sure your domain name is simple. You don't want a domain name that has, you know, all sorts of crazy words that's super long, that's a full sentence. Keep it short and sweet. Remember, the easiest way to remember a domain name is if it's simple. Think of all of your favorite brands and businesses. A lot of their domain names are one word, maybe two words, maybe three words if they're simple words. But you don't see a lot of domain names out there that are a full sentence. So try to limit your domain name to as few words as possible to get your point across. So we're gonna add on to right here, one to two words if possible. All right, the second key to finding the perfect domain name is look for a domain name that is easy to spell. A big mistake that I see with a lot of people is that they're putting words in their domain name that a lot of people commonly misspell. So don't put in words that you yourself have to think about to spell correctly. Another thing that I wanna recommend for this one is try to avoid words that have multiple meanings or I guess multiple spellings. So like if you think of the word plain, you could have the word plain or you could have the word plain. They're both said the same, but they have totally different meanings. But if you're out and about and you're telling someone, hey, go check out my websites, uh, plain, uh, plainjane.com, people aren't gonna know which way to spell your blog unless you tell them, hey, go check out my blog, plainjane.com. It's P-L-A-N-E jane.com. And nobody really wants to do that because when someone gets home, they might forget, they might forget how to spell it, they might not know what it is and then they can't find it and they'll never come back to your website. So look for words that are easy to spell and avoid words that have multiple spellings. All right, the third key for finding the perfect domain name is look for a domain name that is easy to remember. This kind of ties in with simple and easy to spell, but find a domain name that is easy to remember, that you can tell someone once and they'll never forget it again. If you have funky words, funky spellings, um, it's confusing, then it's gonna be really hard for people to remember. But if you can come up with simple words, simple meaning, easy to remember, like learnhowblogging.com, you learn how to blog, learnhowgroup.com, uh, some of the big brands out there, amazon.com. You hear it once, you really never forget it. So try to find a domain name that is easy for you to remember. These are my three keys to finding the perfect domain name. I've got other videos on my website to show you exactly how to buy a domain name and my recommended method for buying a domain name. Like I mentioned, once you're ready to start your blog, head on over to learnhowblogging.com. I've got step-by-step -step tutorial instructions to show you exactly how to start a very successful blog today. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Andy Isom. We'll see you in the next video.